So this was going to be a project where I took a concept of this cheapo man bag, man purse thing that I got off of Amazon. I seen a guy at work, he has uh, he has one of these and it just, I really like the design a lot. So I wanted to turn that into a tool bag. So I bought one to use kind of sort of as a template. This back plate was the part that I really needed off of it. This is some pretty thick veg tan leather and this is canvas. So I used the vacuum rig to laminate this canvas onto the suede side of the leather and then used my sewing machine to very poorly edge band this thing. Um, that's really pushing the limits of that. That's actually way beyond the limits of what that machine was designed for. So uh, I wasn't really surprised that this didn't go well. The original plan was to take this and turn this into a canvas and leather tool bag. And as I progressed through it, I was using more and more leather and less and less canvas. And so it looks like this is going to become two separate projects. So I like where the leather parts are going. And I like where this concept is going. But I don't like the two together. So I'm going to remake this back without the canvas and without the edging. Um, and, and I'm going to make an actual leather tool bag out of these parts. So this video is going to be about the, the molding rig. So yeah, stick around and see how the um, vacuum forming went. Went pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is try... Since I've got glue on the leather, I think I'm just going to try applying the canvas directly to it. Well, that really sucked down. Now right, I'm gonna put the uh, pump back on hill, and we're going to uh, rock her up. So we're gonna leave this running for a little while. Alright, so I let that sit with the pump running for a while. Um, so now I just want to see if it worked at all. Uh, you know, I think it did. And. I don't have much bleed through. I got a little base spot right here and here. One dot right there. I can live with that. Other than that, she is attached. All right, so here's my form. It's just uh, stacked up half inch plywood. This is real wet. What I want to do is I want to get this started.
get those corners pushed in real good. So here's the next form. This is our two and a quarter and then tabs. So we're just gonna go way oversized on the leather, get her good and soaked and wet. Stick her in the bag, form her down as best we can and then put the vacuum on her. These three faces here are the ones I want. So this is going to sit pretty much like this. <clears throat> My next step while the uh, divider is drying is I'm going to make the uh, bottom part right here that's going to get riveted all the way around. And I've made a form for it and just added it onto the same back plate as the, the dividers form. So this you can see fits in here with enough room for it to lip around and come up for rivets All right, so hopefully that all kind of made sense. So, uh, yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, this uh, this is going to become two completely separate projects. And uh, hopefully those two will work out. We'll see what happens. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one. See ya.